Lesson 3. In this lesson, we learn nine new roots from which we shall build up words. These roots are Vid, see, Pov, be able, Affair, affair, Am, love, Don, give, Nom, name, Have, have, Ten, hold, Man, hand. The ending which we learn in this lesson is the ending N, which indicates the object of the verb. In English, the object of the sentence is recognized by its position after the verb. Since word order is not rigid in Esperanto, it is recognized by the ending N. Let us begin. Vividas. You see. Vividas la yululinon. You see the young girl. La yululido vidas vin. The young girl sees you. Vidas vin la yunulino. The young girl sees you. Vidas vi la yunulinon. You see the young girl. La yunulinon belan vividas. You see the beautiful young girl. She amas. She loves. She amas la gepatroin. She loves her parents. She amas la gepatroi. The parents love her. La gepatroi amas shin. The parents love her. La gepatroi amas la yunulinon. The parents love the young girl. La bonai gepatroi amas la bela yunulinon. The good parents love the beautiful young girl. La bona in gepatroin amas la bella yunulino. The beautiful young girl loves the good parents. La signoro havas kvar infanoin. The gentleman has four children. Tri infanoin havas la signorino. The lady has three children. La feliciulo havas la boron. The happy guy has work. Bonain amicoin ni havas. We have good friends. La du felicei infanoi havas bonain gepatroin. The two happy children have good parents. Bona in gepatroin ili havas. They have good parents. Mi povas. I am able. Mi povas stari. I am able to stand. Vi povas paroli. You are able to speak. Ni povas compreni. 
we are able to understand. Lipovas labori multe. He is able to work a lot. She comprenas la aferon. She understands the affair. La gepatroi donis vivon alla infano. The parents gave life to the child. Li donas al shi la manon. He gives her his hand. Shi tenas li an manon. She holds his hand. La manoi de la laborulo estas grandai. The laborer's hands are big. Gepatroi donas nomoin alla infanoi. Parents give names to the children. La nomoi de la infanoi estas belai. The names of the children are beautiful. La patrino nomis la infanon. The mother named the child. Next we come to three new words. Ne, which means no or not. And when it means not, it comes in front of the word, which it negatives. Tre, which means very or very much. And en, which means in. Ili ne multe laboras. They do not work much. Li ne amas la yunulinon. He does not love the young girl. She ne multe amas la yunulon. She does not much love the young man. She tre amas la yunulon. She loves the young man very much. Vi ne tre bone parolas. You do not speak very well. Ili staras tre alte. They are standing very high up. Ni comprenas tre multe. We understand very much. La malparole muloi shinis tre labori. The taciturn people seemed to work very much. Li ne povas teni gin en la mano. He is not able to hold it in his hand. Estas multai malfelicioi en la vivo. There are many unhappinesses in life. Li ne parolos anstatau mi. He will not speak instead of me. Ankau vi estos tre felicia. You too will be very happy. We now come to two new suffixes and one prefix. The suffixes are aj, meaning concrete manifestation. You'll see what that means in a moment and ar, meaning 
collection of. The prefix is ek, which indicates the beginning or suddenness of an action. Let us try them. Vidajo. The thing seen. A sight. Havajo. The thing you have. Property or possession. Laborajo. The thing you work. An artifact. Donajo. The thing given. A gift. Bellajo. A thing of beauty. Bonajo. A good thing. Amicajo. A concrete manifestation of friendship, a friendly gesture. Infanajo, a childish thing. Circaustarajoi, things which stand out, protuberances. Anstatawajo, a thing instead of, or a substitute. Circawajo. The thing round about. Surroundings. Neighbourhood. From R, we can now form Amicaro. A collection or group of friends. Unularo. A collection of young people, or young people in general. Gepatraro. A group or collection of parents. Infanaro. A group or collection of children. Bonularo. A group of good people. Nomaro, a group or collection of names. With the prefix ek, we can form ek vivi, to come to life. Ek logi, to take up residence. Ek labori to set to work. Ek paroli, to begin to speak. Ek stari, to stand up. Ek shiny, to seem momentarily. Ek compreni, to begin to understand, to catch a glimmering. Ek vidi, to glimpse. Ek ami, to fall in love. Ek havi, to get hold of. Ek teni, to clutch. In the next section, we introduce... One new word, antal, which means before or in front of. That is, it applies both to place and to time. Ni havas amikoin en la circawajo. We have friends in the neighborhood. La havajo de la gesignoroi estas granda. The property of the lady and gentleman is large. 
Ilia amicaro donis al ili multain bonajoin. Their circle of friends gave them many good things. Listaros longe antau la belajoi. He will stand for a long time in front of the things of beauty. Mi antau vidis liain infanajoin kai shiain amikajoin. I foresaw his childish actions and her friendly ones. Nia cunularo ec comprenis lian paroladon. Our group of companions began to understand his speech. Ili parolis aferetse. They spoke to the point, or in a business-like manner. Lia afero ek shainis al mi malbona. His business began to seem bad to me, Mi ec vidis belulinon en lia cunularo. I glimpsed a beautiful girl among his companions. G estas an statawajo. It is a substitute. Li estos anstataulo. He will be a substitute. Mia anstataulo estis malaborema. My substitute was lazy. La sen laborularo Estas mal felicia. The unemployed are unhappy. From the ten numerals which we have already learned, we can now form all the others up to ninety-nine, as follows. Deck. Ten. Deck uno. Eleven, deck do. Twelve, deck three. Thirteen, deck quar. Fourteen, deck queen. Fifteen, deck ses. Sixteen, deck sep. Seventeen. Deck Oak, 18. Deck Now, 19. Do Deck, 20. The word Chu at the beginning of a sentence indicates that the sentence is a question. Elsewhere in the sentence it will mean whether. In English, we indicate a question by changing the word order. Since word order does not have this significance in Esperanto, we show the question by putting CHU in front of the equivalent statement, as follows. CHU VIVIDAS Do you see? Chu vi vidas la yunulinon? Do you see the young girl? Chu vin vidas la yunulino? 
Does the young girl see you? Chushi amas lagi patroin? Does she love her parents? Chu lagi patroi amas shin? Do the parents love her? Chu amas shin lagi patroi? Do the parents love her? Chula gepatroi amas la yunulinon? Do the parents love the young girl? Chula gepatroi estas bonai? Are the parents good? Chula bonai gepatroi amas la bela yunulinon? Do the good parents love the beautiful young girl? Chula bona in gepatroin amas la bela yunulino. Does the beautiful young girl love the good parents? Chula signoro havas queen in fanoin? Has the gentleman five children? Chu tu infano in havas la signorino? Has the lady two children? Chu la feliciulo havas la boron? Has the happy man work? Chu bona in amico in ni havas? Have we good friends? Chu la du felicia in fanoi havas bona in gepatroin? Have the two happy children good parents? Chu bona in gepatroin ili havas? Have they good parents? Ili parolis tro aferetse. They spoke in too business-like a manner. Lia afero ex shinis al mi tro malbona. His business began to seem to me too evil. She donis al mi la troajon. She gave me the change. Nitenis nin tro signoretse. We held ourselves too proudly. Li parolis tro malamichezze. He spoke in too hostile a manner. Ili parolis tro malmulte, sed comprenis et multe. They spoke too little, but understood even a lot. La malaboremo de la infanaro estas troa. The laziness of the children is excessive. Mi ec ne povis doni ali la manon. I was not able even to give him my hand. In the last section, we come to six words which we should learn in pairs. Kie and tie, where and there. Kiu 
and tu, who or which, and that, kiam and tiam, when and then. Kiu estas tiu? Who is that? Tiu estas la patrino de la infanoi. That is the children's mother. Kiu estas tiu grandulo? Who is that big man? Li estas patro de la bonai infanoi. He is the father of the good children. Kiu infano estas tiu? Which child is that? Tiu estas la laborema infano. That is the industrious child. Kiu comprenas la aferon? Who understands the business? Kiu amas la junulinon? Who loves the young girl? Kiun amas la junulino? Who does the young girl love? Kiu vidis la infanoin? Who saw the children? Kiu vidis la infanon? Who saw the child? Kiun vidis la infanoi? Whom did the children see? Kiun vidis la infano? Which ones did the child see? Kiun infanoin vividis? Which children did you see? La signoro, kiu parolas alla junulo, estas lia patro. The gentleman who is speaking to the young man is his father. La ge junuloi, kiu parolas alla signoro, estas liai infanoi. The young people who are speaking to the gentleman, are his children. La virinoi, kiuin nividis, estis parolemai. The women whom we saw were talkative. Kie laboras tiui viroi? Where do those men work? Tie staras dec viroi. There stand ten men. Kie estas las sen laboruloi? Where are the workless ones? Tie ni vidos tiuin kiui povas compreninin. There we shall see those who are able to understand us. Kie logas liai gepatroi? Where do his parents live? Ili ne logas tie, sed ili laboras tie. They do not live there, but they work there. Kie li laboras, tie estas bonai kunuloi. Where he works, there are good companions. Kiam li vidis la belan junulinon, li ek amishin. When he saw... The beautiful young girl, he fell in love with her. 
tiam li ectenis sian manon. Then he took hold of her hand. Kiam li eclaboris? When did he set to work? Kiam li povis? When he was able. Tiam li estis felicia. Then he was happy. Kai tiam li estis ankau havulo. And then he was also a man of property. Kiam viro havas geamikoin? When does a man have friends? Kiam li estas bonulo? When he is a good guy. That is the end of lesson three.